Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Mining Engineering. I am Satya Brata. Today's video is about surface blasting. It has been estimated that more than two thirds of the world's yearly mineral production is extracted by surface mining. In surface mining, a large hole or pit being formed in the process of extracting a rock or mineral. Deposits mined by open pit techniques are generally divided into horizontal layers called benches. The thickness, that is the height of the benches, depends on the type of deposit, the mineral being mined, and the equipment being used. For large mines, it is on the order of 12 to 15 meters. Let's look at one of the surface mine. This is one of the open cast iron ore mine. See the benches of the iron ore mines. Open cast, open pit, a surface mine, benches. Let's look at how the benches are formed for the extraction of the rock. Suppose this is the block which has to be developed through the surface mining benches. One horizontal layer is being extracted and the bench number one is being formed. This is the crest of the bench, this is the toe of the bench, and this edge is the height of the bench. Again, for extraction of more mineral or the more rock, we have to open another one bench below the bench number one. So, for extracting that, we have to open that bench like this. That is the bench number two. In a similar fashion, for extracting more rock mass, we have to open bench number 3 below the bench number 2 like this. This is the bench number 3. Likewise, the surface main benches are formed. A bench can be defined as rock cell which has a near horizontal face and a near vertical face. So now the question is how to Excavate the rock mass to open a bench. Although there are various techniques for extraction of the rock mass, the easiest and economical way to excavate the rock mass is by the blasting technique. In the blasting technique, explosive energy is used to generate the shock wave and gas pressure. This generated shock wave and gas pressure reduces the rock mass strength and breaks the rock mass. Suppose this is the block which has to be extracted, which has to be blasted through the blasting technique. So the procedure will be first we have to drill the drill hole or the blast holes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. By providing certain spacing, we have uh, drilled six drill holes. In the drill holes, we have to provide the explosive charge. Here's the explosive charge. Okay. So for blasting, we have to confine the explosive by providing some stemming. In this portion, we have to provide the stemming. Then by detonating, we'll do the blasting and the and the energy and the explosive energy will convert into the shock wave and the gas pressure, which will reduces the rock mass strength and that will break the rock mass. So we can define the blasting technique in a three step process. The first one is drilling, second one is charging, the third one is blasting. So blasting surface mines benches. In this picture we can see clearly that the bench number one is already formed now the working is going on in the second bench 
and we are going to extract this portion of the rock mass for moving the bench in this direction. So for that we have to drill the blast holes like this. Okay, here we are viewing from the side view that is a two row of blast holes. This is first row number one, this is a row number two. We will visualize this thing later. Okay, in the blast hole, we will uh, provide the explosive charge, then we will continue the blasting, and this much rock will be extracted and the phase will move forward. For moving further in this direction, we have to drill blast holes. Again, we have to provide the explosive and we have to do the blasting and we will extract the rock mass and the surface mine benches are formed. Okay, now visualize the picture from the in a different angle. This is a front view, this is a side view. We were visualizing earlier in the side view. Now let's visualize this thing from the front view. Okay, for the extract some of the rock as already seen earlier, there's a two row of the blast holes. are being blasted and we have moved the face to the new point like this okay let's calculate the volume of rock blaster what are the parameters given in this blast the burden the burden is given that is b the spacing is given that is s and the height of the bench is given that is h and the number of blast holes here there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and in the first row also there are 8 blast holes so total 16 number of blast holes with b button s spacing and h depth are going to be blaster okay so the volume of rock blaster will be burden into spacing into depth into the number of blast holes. Let's see how much rock will be blasted by a single blast hole. For a particular blast holes, it can blast up to half of spacing on the right side, half of the spacing on the left side, half of the bottom on the top side, half of the bottom on the bottom side. So in total, a particular blast tool will blast a spacing and B button. And we know the depth of the pinch is H. So a particular hole will blast button into spacing into depth of the bench so volume of rock blasted per hole will be b button s spacing into h depth now we have one more parameter that is the density of the rock if you have the density of the rock then we can calculate the tonnage of rock blaster so the tonnage of rock blaster will be burden into spacing into depth and number of blast holes into the density of the rock let's see one problem suppose a surface mine bench is being extracted by drilling and blasting technique the burden and spacing used in the blast is 3 meter and 5 meter respectively. If the depth of the paint is 10 meter and 14 number of holes are blasted, then calculate the volume of rock will be blasted through the blasting. The given parameters, burden that is 3 meter that is given here, the spacing 5 is also given, the depth of the paint is given 10 meter and we are blasting 14 number of blast holes. So the volume of rock 
will blast is equal to burden into spacing into depth into number of blasters. 3 into 5 into 10 into 40. Burden, spacing, depth and number of blast holes that is 6000 meter cube. Let's look at one more problem. Suppose an iron ore mine paint is being extracted by drilling and blasting technique. The density of the iron ore is given 2.5 ton per meter cube. The burden and spacing used in the blast is 3 meter and 5 meter respectively. If the depth of the paint is 10 meter and for the number of holes are blasted, then calculate the ton of rock will be blasted through the blasting. Let's solve this. The parameters are same as the earlier problem, like the burden is 3 meter, spacing is 5 meter, depth of the paint is 10 meter, and we are blasting for the number of holes. Here one more parameter is given that is the density of the rock that is 2.5 ton per meter cube. So the volume of rock we blast is equal to burden into spacing into depth into the number of blast holes. That is 3 into 5 into 10 into 40 that is 6000 meter cube. And if we multiply this volume of rock with the density of the rock that is 2.5 ton per meter cube, then we will get the tonnage of rock blaster. The volume of rock is 6000 meter cube and the density of the rock is 2.5 ton per meter cube then it will keep the value of 15,000 ton. So the rock will be blasted through the blasting is 15,000 ton. We will see some more problem in the next video. Thank you.